Hi, Mark Archer here. I'm going to teach you take five. I'm going to teach you it very, very quickly. Now, the number one thing with take five, played by the legendary Paul Desmond and Dave Brubeck, Paul Desmond on alto sax, beautiful sax, the pure sound in the sax. The key thing to do before we go any further with this one is get C blues licked. The majority of the tune is in C blues, which is an unusual key, but there again, they were unusual musicians. So C blues is C, D sharp, F, F sharp being your blue note, G, B flat and C. So get this lick before you go any further with this tune. And when you do a blue scale like this, do what they call a circle tour. So start on bottom C, go right up top D sharp to top F, come back down again. So. <laughs> I'm going to do that one more time. So get C blues licked, because if you don't get C blues licked and get it really fluent, this tune will be all over you. It's wildly quicker than you think it's going to be. So once you've got C blues licked, which like I say, the bulk of the tune is in, then learn the first pattern. Now it's in 5-4 time, which is why it's called Take 5. And this is a tune that Paul Desmond thought was an irrelevance and uh, was worth nothing. And uh, what a mistake that was. He nearly swapped it for a used Ronson razor. Can you believe that story? Anyway, the rights to it. So what a story. OK, so now with this tune we go. G, C, D sharp, F, F sharp, back on the F, the D sharp. Now the F, F sharp, D sharp is a really strange manoeuvre. So if I just play it slowly, and like any tune you're learning, play it slowly first, get it embossed under your fingers, and then you can speed it up. OK, so we just do it slowly. <laughs> Again, a little bit quicker. Okay, so that's the first line. Very famous line too. Okay, then the second line is where you go D, your D sharp to the D, and the C, and the B flat and the C. And then the next part of this line is the B flat and hit the middle side key or side bar, which is a little cheat C. So the first two lines. Way. Go again. Repeats again. Then this line goes round the other way. So that's the first part of take five. Okay, so you've got to be like you say, you've got to be absolutely fluent. And this is the Royal Take 5, not some Nambi Pambi version. This is in the proper key. Saw it being played by the great Dave Brubeck live once. The second part, and this is the bit that, that uh, Paul Desmond said made it, and was also, uh, this is the part that Dave Brubeck contributed to the track. Unfortunately, he didn't take a credit for it. It's probably to his lasting regret. But anyway, um, is the bridge, or the middle eight, as they call it, where it goes off somewhere else, where music goes off somewhere else. Now, this is in three parts. You've got the first part, which is C, to top D sharp E flat, back to the C to the G sharp. Really awkward physical manoeuvre. So that's the first one to get licked. Again, do it slowly. Second part. Okay, so it goes F, G, G sharp, A, B flat, top D, B flat, G. And again, if you think about it, it goes top D sharp, top D and C. So the destiny notes in each part of these three part phrase. So you've got and then the third one starts on the D sharp. And again, you've got the C, G sharp, C manoeuvre, an awkward one, D sharp. So you do that again. So that's the three parts. So let's go through those slowly again. You've got C, D sharp, G sharp. Great. Okay, now one of the interesting things about teaching this is I know the tune so well, I've literally put it under my fingers that I don't think about it when I play it anymore. It's just something that flows from underneath my fingers. So bolt those three together, do it slowly, and then just slowly speed those up. Okay, so you've got... And then run back up. And then you're back to one, two, three again. And then the last phrase, D, D sharp, and the B flat phrase. So basically, there's three parts to that bridge. You've just got to get lit, got to get fluent. 
And that fundamentally is take five. There is an incredible solo that comes after that I won't start to explain to you now, but if you can play that allegedly you have really climbed a mountain. So we would do that at some point in the future. But that's take five. Slowly, slowly build up the muscle memory and also get sussed in sea blues before you even get going on it. Okay, so enjoy take five. It's one of the most fantastical tunes of all time. Thank you. 